dinner, I'm gonna have mine with just some cheese string fries I cooked in the air fryer. My kids are being crazy. And dip in that cheese sauce, let's see how it tastes. This dinner okay, was so good, the pretzel dogs. Um, I actually filmed a cook with me video just on this recipe because I knew it would take me a while. It's like quick and easy, but there's a separate video. It's the video before this one, so go check that out if you want to know how to make these. Okay, I completely forgot. I'm supposed to show on our dinner tonight. It's Tuesday. We're having quesadillas tonight because Jonathan didn't go cut grass. So right now I'm just making some refried beans. I got these ones, and I'm going to mix some milk into them to make them a little bit thinner, and I'm just going to bake those in the oven with some cheese on top. Probably like a quarter cup of milk, and then now I'm going to mix this in because I can't do it with one hand and show you what it looks like. Okay, they are a lot thinner consistency. You can't really tell. So now I'm just gonna top with some of this triple cheddar. Just like a little drizzle of that. Drizzle, sprinkle them in. And then some of this quesadilla cheese that I shared in my grocery haul. And that is this one. And there we go. I'm just gonna put that in to an oven and preheat it to 350 and let that go while we make the quesadillas on the blackstone. We're also gonna have some of the Spanish rice with it because that's just easy. Just throw it in the microwave for 90 seconds. So once we bring the quesadillas in, I'll just heat that up and it'll be good to go. I already diced up this chicken for Jonathan to take and put on the Blackstone. And then I put, I mean, you should already know if you know what kind of seasoning are like, the Kinder's taco seasoning. This is the best taco seasoning if I don't make my own. I love it. And so I just chopped up two chicken breasts and put that on it. It's so good. Nothing is hot. Oops, okay, I'm recording in front of Jonathan, it's awkward. But I wanna tell you about these tortillas because we will never go back to a normal tortilla, will we, babe? Can you say no so they can hear you? Okay, he said no. Okay, but these are fresh ones and then you just cook them per, like, to, kind of to order, but not to order, like, when you're gonna use them. And they are way better than any normal one. And then we'll show you how we do them whenever we do them on for like the quesadilla. They're so good. All ready to make quesadilla? Okay, this is how you do the tortillas. So like they're raw. Well, I think they're par cooked, you think? I don't know, but they're raw. So you put it on there. And it's supposed to say 30 seconds, so you wait on it to bubble up. So you can see it's like getting translucent. And then once it bubbles up on that one side, we're not gonna flip it yet. We're just gonna take it off for a second. And then do, well, I guess I have room to do both of them on this thing. I'm used to doing them in a pan. So we'll put both of them on there. You turn a burner up for me. Thanks, babe. So you put that down on there and then it's not even starting to bubble yet. It's about there. Once it starts to bubble, don't have the test in my burner. Once it starts to bubble, we're gonna flip it and then put the cheese on the already cooked side and then flip the already cooked side of this tortilla on top of that one once we put the cheese and the chicken on it. You think that's bubbled up enough, babe? I think so, you think? You think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Okay. Now you sprinkle your cheese. And I feel like I'm not good at this part. I need to do this in a pan. I'm making a mess. Oh god, I'm making a mess. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sprinkle your chicken. And then more cheese on top. And you're just gonna put this. Hey, Cannon Bug. We're gonna put this cook side down and then we'll flip it in just a second. Mmm, this be good. We haven't made Casey a little box stone yet. Is that why I just put that? Okay. I kind of wish I, I wish I had another. Uh. 
Yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna use my hand to flip it. Ready? Ready? Ooh, it's hot. It's really hot. Oh, it looks good though, doesn't it? Caitlin said she wants just cheese on hers. And you want jalapenos on yours. Okay. Okay, you let that side finish cooking and then it's done. And then we're just gonna make the rest of our no. quesadillas. And then we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Yeah. You'll spray it. Okay, Jonathan's smarter than me and he figured this would be easier. So we're gonna show you the easier way to make them. So you just throw your quesadillas, your tortilla down. I always do that. Uh, when we got the floor. Okay, and then once it starts getting a little bit bubbly, then you're gonna flip it, and that's gonna be the inside of the tortilla, and you're just gonna fold it on top of itself with the cheese and the chicken in it, right? Yeah. I hope you like this chicken, this cheese is good as the great value one. I think that's good. Yeah. Now, cheese. Jalapenos. You about to have some toasty jalapenos. I think it was easier with your hand. Okay, and now more cheese. And you fold it over. Some chicken, babe. Mm, it looks like a restaurant for quesadilla. Mm, there we go. I think that's a lot easier. All right, last thing to do is pop this into the microwave for 90 seconds. And we can eat. Okay, I just made Jonathan's plate. Here's his quesadilla with his jalapenos, his chicken, his cheese, his refried yeah. beans, Spanish rice, and his sour cream with his fire sauce. And that is Tuesday night's dinner. Okay, I feel like you literally can't get any easier than tonight's dinner. Tonight, I was not feeling the best, and I was just in the mood for spaghetti. So, that's what we're having. So, I'm going to already started my water boiling over there. I'm adding a little bit of avocado to a skillet. And then I'm just going to cook up a pound of ground beef. This is 93.7 ground beef. So, that way it's just not too fatty. Like, you don't even have to drain it. And so, I'm just going to cook that up. I'm going to season it with some garlic powder. Um, some onion salt from Trader Joe's, some crushed red pepper, and some Italian seasoning and salt and pepper. So you'll just see that in a second. And I'm going to get that all cooked up and get it ready to combine with the sauce. As I'm watching this, I totally realized that I did not add any salt and pepper to my meat. And I have no idea why. I guess I just wasn't paying attention. But add salt and pepper to your meat. I just... I just forgot, I guess. Okay, I know a lot of people won't agree with this, but we break our spaghetti noodles. Jonathan prefers me to break them multiple times, but I only break them in half. I prefer them long as well, but I'm going to go ahead and break those and just put them into my boiling salted water and stir them around. I hope you can't hear Kinsley's snotty nose in the back, but you're just going to stir that around and get them as boiling.
Okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, I like to finish cooking my pasta in the sauce. So I'm gonna add that over and you will quickly see in a second that I realized my pan was far too small. So I just drained the excess pasta water that's in the other pot and I just dumped that in there to finish cooking it in there and combine. That way I didn't have a big spaghetti sauce mess all over my stove. And then I just mixed it all together and then I'm gonna add in some Parmesan cheese and it is going to be delicious. And there you go, there's dinner. Just basic, simple old spaghetti. Everybody loves spaghetti. Just top it off with some Parmesan cheese and you are good to go with a tasty meal. Okay, it's a Friday night dinner. Jonathan's making me grill because, I don't know, he heard his head on the boat or something. But, ooh, it's fogging it up. We're smoking it up. I have some chicken on the grill, just some chicken breast I split in half. That I season with some of that Kinder's uh, Taco blend. Usually, if it does that, it's not ready to turn. The rest of it's going to clean. Some of that Kinder's Taco blend. And now I have some corn cob that I par cooked in the Instant Pot for two minutes on manual pressure. We're just going to get it all toasty. We're going to make some Mexican street corn out of it, which we've never had before. So, we're excited. Cajita cheese, or maybe it's cheese and then tahine, and then sprinkle it with crema. Can you open the tahine? It's like a chili lime. Is it stout? Why does that thing not have a seal on it? What? Sugar at the burger. I can't smell it. <laughs> Taste it. People say it's so good, especially on fruit. Oh, that's why I didn't have a seal on it. You're supposed to do that. Mm. Do you not like it? Lock your dolls. Would you rather sprinkle this on it? Would you rather sprinkle this on it? You're supposed to sprinkle without seasoning. Again. Tahine. Tahine. <laughs> okay. There's our crema. Look how thin it is. Okay. We get me a clean plate. We need a spoon. Spoon, right? Spread it on. Probably. Okay. Let's just make one. Can they? Yep, you can see. Okay. This is weird to me. I have to spread it all the way around it. It's like gotta get in the kernels. You act like you're not gonna like it with all that mayonnaise on it. No, we're not doing Texas Pete. Oh, I didn't get the cojita cheese out. Can you get it? It's in the drawer. Ooh, this is messy. Okay, I think that's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, I know. No, $4, $5. Mm -hmm. Can you cut it open or something? All right. Cotija cheese. They say it's like Mexican Parmesan. Mm -hmm. I'm just crumbling it up with a fork. Okay. Now you sprinkle this with the Cotija. You gotta spin it for me. The Cotija cheese. Golly, this is messy. Me and Jonathan want to try this at the Mexican restaurant, but it's like what five dollars for one, and we didn't know if we were gonna like it. Just like horchata, we tried horchata. What do you think about that, babe? Nasty. 
I don't understand. Everybody's like, oh, Cortana's so good. It's not. It's not good. And apparently, the RMX commercial apparently has really good Cortana, but we didn't like it. Okay, the Cotija cheese. It, this is messy. I'm gonna rip my hand off. Now, sprinkle a little tahini. Jonathan says it's really strong, so we're just gonna go white. Like, white, white. Okay. Okay, hopefully this is good. And dad likes the. And then I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna use the same fork. And you do the crema right on top. It's really pretty. Babe, will you taste test it? Come over here, sit, it, you taste it. No, you taste it. Okay, here, stay right there, taste it. Taste it. I, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Oh, the corn sounds good. Do we like it? Do you like it? It's good. It's good? You like the tahini? I didn't really like. I need that. Oh, well you are eating it. <laughs> well now I want to make me one. Okay, but there we go. There's supper we're having. Rice, chicken, that sprinkle with taco seasoning, and then Mexican street corn. Drop them to town. Apparently it's good. That's it for this week's What's for Dinner video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some new ideas. And if you liked it, I hope you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and come join our family. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend.